Stoner Made for Redcom Incorporated, and today what I'm going to be doing is continuing the How to Build Your Own Adventure Map series, and a lot of people have been waiting for this, and finally I'm doing it. So, basically what I've got here is this floating island held up by balloons, and a structure there that's unfinished, and this is like a single-cell police office kind of thing. But today I'm going to show you how to liven up your surroundings. So, basically, I structured this these hills in MC Edit. I just made a cube and shaved off the edges until I got the results I wanted. So there's a cube there, just shaved it down. Two cubes here, shaved those down, and on and on. But another thing, before I get onto that, you need to bone meal the ground or just place grass and flowers and make it more lively. And another thing, because I wanted it to be floating, I made this kind of, like, patch, I guess. So you can walk across it, but you can all also fall in. So, um, I thought that looked pretty cool in the map and made a good addition. So, um, th the other thing I'm going to be doing is showing you how to make um, really good animal spawners. So, I wanted flying pigs in my map. And... I really like the idea of having flying pigs on a floating island. I think it would make a lot of sense. So, what we're going to do is hop into MC Edit, and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so, I'm in, C M I'm in, in MC Edit. I can't talk right now. And, basically what I'm going to do is simply highlight from here up to... Mm, there. And first of all, before I combine the two entities with Sethling's stack entities filter, I'm going to make the bat invisible. So, as you can see, the bat's that little red, red cube in there, which is the entity. And I know it's the bat because I placed it on the bottom. So, go over to my filter and add potion of hex to mob and um, invisibility. Uh, and I want it as long as possible, so I'm going to do 200,000, or 20,000, that, yeah, that works. 200,000, that's better. Filter, and the bat will now be invisible. So, then I'm going to nudge it up all the way, so it selects the pig too. Go back to filter, and go down to stack entities, right there and click filter and now instead of having two entities I just have that one so if I want I can go up and actually I can probably just delete all these blocks so go to the main tool right there delete blocks and we're left with our entity right there what we're gonna do next is apply I think another one of Seth Bling's filters. Um, I'm not sure if it is, but create spawners filter and filter and as you can see we've made a spawner. So this will spawn invisible bats with pigs riding them. So it will look like it's a flying pig basically. So let me hop back into real world, or not the real world, that would be weird, but the vanilla world, and continue. back in the vanilla world, and here we've got a flying pig spawner. So <laughs> you can see the pigs are a little bit derp, a little bit glitchy too, but they will just fly around. This one <laughs> is kind of walking, but... Yeah, now we've got our pig spawner. We just need to cover this up. We'll get some dirt. And it will spawn pigs to our liking. So, in order to make this more natural, I should probably go a little bit wider. Oops, sorry pig. Probably go a little bit wider. So, you will not see the fire particles coming from the spawner. So I can go like that and that and yeah that looks good I don't yeah you can't see the particles oh maybe you can yes you can 
So I'll have to cover it up on all the sides too. So there we go. This isn't looking very good, but I'll smooth it out and it'll look good. But yeah, those are some basic tips to structure your land in MC Edit and Vanilla. And as you can see, it works pretty well. And I believe it's the best tactic to creating an adventure map. So thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, favorite, and subscribe, and bye.